Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox, take a close-up look and test the Maxlex TV LED backlight. So let's just take a look around the outside of the box. So in this box or packet is a Maxlex LED strip. And this one measures 5 meters in length, and it's also available in 3 and 4 meter lengths. Now let's go ahead and open up the packet. But of course, lifting up the box flap, and taking a look directly inside the box or packet, we can see the light strip and the accessories. Let's slide the contents out, or tip the contents out. And then we'll take a close-up look once we've removed everything from the box packaging. So that's the box packaging, and there's one bit here that's stuck on the underside or inside the box, which I've just removed. Okay, now I'm going to set the box on the right-hand side of the frame. And then laying out the contents across the tabletop so we have a nice clear view of all the items from this box packaging of the Maxlex TV LED backlight. Okay, so let's set them the right way up. And as you can see, there are some papers as well that come with the LED strip and just setting and laying the contents out across the tabletop so we have a nice clear view of all the items that come with the LED strip. Okay so let's start off by taking a look at this leaflet or card here and, and it's a key points of installation card showing the important information regarding the installation of this set of LED lights. And moving on to the next item, there is a user manual. I'm showing you the thickness of the user, user manual here. And flipping it open, there are some specifications as well as the package contents and warnings as well and just flipping through onto the next pages so for your reference and the LED strip does come with an infrared remote control and of course there is the option to control the LED strip using the Happy Lighting app, which is downloadable from the app or Google Play Store, and it does sync with music playback using the app. So there we go. So that's the user manual. And moving on to the next item. So there is another user manual, very interestingly. This time around, this feels a little bit thinner. And let's flip it open, and this one folds and spreads right across, as you can see right there, and the reverse side. So let's take a look at the panels. So several panels right on one side, and then there is the reverse side as well, so taking a look at the reverse side. So all this is reference material, should you need to find out more about the product before or even after you purchase. Okay, so that's the second user manual for the Maxlex. TV LED backlight. Okay, now moving on. 
So there are a few 3M fat clips, as you can see right there, and there is a sticky pad, double-sided. I believe that might be for the kind of control module or module that we'll take a closer look in just a moment. But as you can see, the 3M bat clips, and just giving you a look at them. So there are two, four, six, eight clips all together, and a double-sided sticky pad right here. As you can see, just giving you a close-up look right there, and a close-up look to the clip as well. So better view this way with the side profile of the clip. Okay, so those are eight clips and a double-sided sticky pad. Now let's set those down and move on to the next item, which is the remote control and of course the LED strip itself. So just going to do some bit of tidying up on the right hand side of the frame. Just going to set these clips down along with that pad as well, keeping them in the frame but to the side so they don't interfere with the foreground as we take a look at the other accessories or items close up. So there is an infrared or IR remote control here. And you can see that there are some clearly labeled controls there on the buttons and the infrared sensor or beam or light at the front. And taking a look close up at the back of the control, you can see the specifications as well as the battery type. So it does take either a CR2025 or 2032 battery, so one of those button type batteries or coin type batteries right there. Some support details as well, so nice to see right there and just going to set that down and move on to the light itself or the LED strip so you can see nicely packed into a reel or roll here and it does have a USB connector so it plugs into the rear or into the USB port of your TV should you use it with your TV set it's right there a USB type A connector to power the LED strip. Okay, I'm just giving you an idea of this five meter long roll, and there is a warning label there that advises against using it when in the rolled up state okay so that's the roll here let's unwind the roll and of course just showing you this part before things start to get messy so you can see the led controller also it's labeled on this part here showing you the thickness as well always good to know these little details and right there nice glossy black finish for the LED strips controller and you'd apply the pad the double-sided pad that we saw earlier on this controller. So this is stays nice and secure behind your TV set or any fixed mounting secure position. Now let's unwind the LED strip from its roll here. So just being careful right there. And just giving you a look at the other connector as well. So you can see on the other end, it's actually the not connector, but the uh, infrared sensor, I believe. 
right here to work with the remote control. As I mentioned, it also works with the Happy Lighting app, which can be downloaded from the App Store or Google Play Store. It's right there. And the benefit of the app does give you a sync feature that works with music playback. Okay, so just unwinding the strip. So this is five meters long in total, including the LED element itself. And just towards the end, just peeling it off very carefully, right there. Okay, so that's the five meter long strip, as you can see, with the USB connector and the receiver or transmitter. And now let's go ahead and plug in that USB plug into a USB outlet. So I do have a socket here. And let's flip the switch on. So right there you can see the light coming on straight away and it is in red, so a nice red lighting and just giving you a close-up look as it is right here. And actually, before I do all that, let's get the, let's turn the switch off so you can see the actual design of the LED strip itself. A little detail before anything else, and you can see the thickness as well. So details that could be quite pertinent when it comes to the setup or installation or the way you'd go about mounting this Mexlex. TV LED strip. That's not just limited for use to backlight your TV, you can use it for any kind of other ambient lighting. It's right there giving you a close up look to the circuitry of this LED strip and the thickness as well, so giving you some idea. And of course, you can see just how long this length of five meters is, including, of course, the USB controller and the rest of the cord. And of course, including the LED strip itself. So you can see one big jumble right now, of course, in my hands. And now let's go ahead and flip that switch again. Now that we've seen or had a clear view of the design and elements of this Maxlex TV LED backlight. So right there, giving you one more look before I flip the switch. Give you some idea of the thickness as well, right there. So right there, one big jumble of LED strip, one continuous run. And now let's flip the switch by flipping on the socket to which the USB adapter, which I'm just using for this demonstration, right there. And you can see the starting color is red. And now that the camcorder has achieved autofocus, you can see it more clearly. The nice red glow emanating from the LED strip. Okay, so now let's Go back to the remote control because this is where we're going to test out the different colors and effects of this Maxlex TV LED backlight. Okay, so now a clearer look at the infrared 
remote control with its buttons right there so quite light in weight and very slim and you can see the transmitter at the front as well so once we achieve autofocus right there and just to give you a better sense of the size of this infrared remote control right there super light made out of plastic and as you can see from the specifications at the back of the remote control it takes a CR2025 or CR2032 battery and it looks like it does already come with one because there is a security or uh, preserver tab here let's slide that out and actually give you a look at the battery just in case you're still or not entirely sure right there this one is a CR2025 battery right there okay so nice good look and let's pop it back in and now we have control let's press on the off and see what happens and right there it's turn the strip off and turn it turning it on obviously the reason why it's not turning on it's because i'm not pointed at the receiver so remember that this part is the receiver and it's important to make sure that that's in line of sight with the remote control so let's turn it on right there as you can see and then play around with the various colors so we can even increase the brightness as you can see right there and decrease the brightness as well just So various options right there to adjust the intensity or brightness. So that is appears to be at maximum brightness. And as I tap down, you can see very many, many levels of brightness right there. All the way down, this is the lowest brightness or the dimmest setting. And of course, there is the off and on function. And on, as you can see, it resumes the LED at the last setting and of course there are different settings as well for different colors so you can see green very very bright looks a bit limey or a bit paler in the um, video capture but I can tell you that that green is a very rich green emerald color looks a bit limey if you know what I mean like a lime green uh, in the video however in person it does appear much richer and deeper okay so let's try lowering the brightness so right there so plenty of adjustability throughout the different colors so let's try blue and you can see that it does appear slightly on the cooler side but it is in person and actually uh, deeper blue so colors do appear a little bit paler or less rich in the video and let's try the other colors very quickly just so just tapping through as you can see as I use my thumb and press on the different colors just making sure that that receiver is in the range or in the sight of the transmitter I know I could be pointing it this way but I'll just keep it this way so it's easier to see what exactly is going on uh, when I press buttons now might keep it this way now just to make sure that uh, it is in range or even though you might have to tilt your head slightly I'm not sure but nonetheless here we go again red green blue and then the different arrays or hues of colors as you can see my thumb just pressing down on the different colored buttons as you can see right there Let's get that autofocus right there exactly okay so nice giving you some good idea on once again i'm just gonna go through the colors again so let's start off going left to right uh across so red green blue white so there is a white as well the white is slightly on the cooler side 
and I'm just going to I'm just going to skip that last column with the effects for now or what appears to be the effects just going through the colors once again and let's lower the intensity of these and dimming it all the way down however once I change the color it does revert back to what appears to be the maximum brightness yes it does go to the maximum brightness every time I switch a color or change the color but nonetheless okay let's te now test out the column on this side which appears to be the effects column let's get that autofocus to come in okay so you can see flash strobe fade and smooth right there let's try flash so you can see nice and bright and responsive flashing and done at a very high speed let's see if I press on the brightness setting if that does change anything at all doesn't appear to change anything just giving it a try nonetheless and let's hit that off button and press it turn it back on and just as before it resumes on the last setting okay and let's hit that flash button again and see if that does change anything nope okay so let's try strobe now and that strobe effect is absolutely dazzling and you can see how quickly those colors change The LED actually does look opal-like in this lighting effect, which is strobe. And I'm going to bring the LED light strip closer later on once we've gone through all these effects and colors. So let's try the next one. And before I do that, once again, let's try adjusting if we can. Okay, so pressing a color does take it out from its lighting effect. Let's go back to strobe and now hit fade. So fade is the next effect down and you can see that it does fade and transition into several colors so it keeps cycling from one color to the next and it does so very very smoothly and rather quickly as well and now let's try the last effect which is smooth so smooth, what smooth does, as you can see, it does, all it does is fade in and out of the same color, but doesn't go completely dark, though. It just goes all the way to what appears to be a very dim brightness, and then increasing to the maximum brightness and fading out again. Let's see if we can apply a different color to this fade or smooth effect and press smooth so very interestingly the smooth effect as you can see goes back to that blue color again and perhaps the happy lighting app will give more control over these lighting effects this is just using this infrared remote control here now let's try green and smooth and see if that does maintain that smooth effect nope so smooth effect as far as the infrared remote control is concerned only applies or shows the blue color regardless of what other color you press before or after the mode as you can see that blue once again and pressing the dimming or increase of brightness doesn't change anything to the mode okay and just showing you the modes very quickly again that's flash strobe fade oops sorry didn't really point it at the receiver let's go through it again that's flash strobe fade and smooth so once again flash strobe fade and smooth and of course there are 
the individual colors and their brightness or intensities as well. Right there. And just playing around with showing you, demonstrating the different colors right there. Okay, let's go into flash. And then I can possibly, or maybe strobe. So this is going to be quite dazzling. I'm going to give you a close-up look at the LED strip itself up close in this mode. So be prepared for the visual stimulation right here, up close. And hopefully the camcorder is able to pick up what's going on right there. And this is the strobe mode, as you can see. The LEDs on the strip flashing away with the myriad of colors. Very, very cool, as you can see how the light plays against my hands. And that's the whole jumble of the LED strip in the strobe mode. So very, very colorful. And one of the coolest modes, but obviously it's a uh, very, very stimulating and invigorating type of effect here, given that it is flashing away quite intensely and very colorfully, as you can see. And let's switch to and of course, I need to make sure that the infrared receiver is in the line of sight. And that's yellow. I'm just going to show you the colors once again from the bottom to the top via the buttons of this infrared remote control. So those are all the colors that we've just gone through. And of course, they are dimmable as well. But once again, when we switch colors, it reverts or jumps to the maximum brightness right there. So you can see the different levels of green as well. So very cool and fun to play around and use for ambient lighting or as a TV backlight. And that's the flash, strobe, fade, and smooth. So four different effects to play with. My favorite is the strobe. I'm not sure how long I can deal with this level of intensity. So let's go with a slightly more relaxing fade effect. So that's the Maxlex TV LED backlight. Thanks for watching and happy shining.